Good morning! And welcome to your Monday Morning Yoga Minutes. I'm Audra Monk and I teach at Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland. And we would love for you to join us at our studio for a class or a workshop. And you can see all of our information at mountainspirityoga.com. So come on in! Today we're going to do a moderate practice playing a little bit with Warrior One and some fun ways to get there and a, a, a different um, I don't know, I'm a big fan of imagery, so we're gonna channel our inner uh, birds, different types of birds in this little short practice. So this is a moderate level practice, so if you need a little more warm up, please uh, feel free to come back to this video, go do, uh, lay down, find one of our gentle practices and do that first. Um, as always, I always give options so it's accessible for all of us to do. So if you do need to add a chair or uh, something like that, please do that. All right, so you need a mat or you need definitely a floor, no, um, not rug preferably, um, so that you can feel that earth. So we're gonna start on hands and knees. We're only gonna be here a moment to warm up just a little bit in the hips and the back so that we can practice our warrior one. So come on down, take your time. Sorry, I have like a hair. You know how it like gets on you and it's tickling your arms, so I keep picking at it. So come on down, nice and easy to hands and knees. If you wanted, you could add some padding. We're only gonna be here for a moment, so it might be okay depending on your mat and your knees. We want the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips, so there should be space between the knees. For a moment, feel super long in the spine. So wherever you start a yoga practice, it's always nice to just pause and take a breath. Okay, and then we're gonna flow this from table pose to child's pose. So when you're ready on an exhale, slide the hips back and bring the head towards the earth. On your inhale, come on up. And it's okay if you don't go very far. Maybe you just go a little bit the first couple times. Maybe you like to go far right away. So take your time and ease your way in and out of child's pose. So maybe we exhale as we slide back. And we inhale as we come forward. The next time you're in child's pose, let's stay there. So come on back and rest here. Maybe you bring in the hands or a block to support the head, or maybe your head is low, but give yourself a moment to rest here. And then we're gonna make our way to downward facing dog. So stretch out the arms nice and long, spread the fingers wide, and carefully come on forward, tuck your toes, lift your knees, slide your hips back, and go ahead and walk your dog. Press one heel deeper as the other knee bends. Feel free to shake your head out, yes to no. Okay, just moving comfortably here, wag your tail. And then settle in for a moment. Maybe bend the knees and then let the heels reach towards the earth. The fingers are spread wide. Lots of energy going up the arms and down the back. Good breathing here. And then let's carefully walk our hands and feet together. Take your time. Bend your knees a lot. Bring those hands to the thighs and carefully come all the way up. Good. And roll your shoulders a couple times. All right, so that's our tiny warm up. So we're gonna move cautiously. So we're gonna play with warrior one. Often we start at the front of our mat and step a foot back to warrior one. So today we're going to step into our warrior. So come to the back of your mat, find your feet, uh, Tadasana, mountain pose, right? So feet about hip distance apart, lift up your toes and spread them wide and then let them settle back down. Feel the strength of the legs and the body towards the earth. Roll the shoulders down and back. Good. All right, so here's where uh, a few of our bird um, analogies or imagery start. So we're gonna find balance and patience as we stand in, then we step into this warrior one. So hands can be loose or hands can be on your hips. Either one works. So imagine for a moment that you're a 
crane or a heron or I'm pretty sure even a flamingo might do something similar. Um, and you're standing in the edge of your, your water and you're gonna walk across this water. They walk slowly and carefully. We're gonna lift up the leg, pause at the top, and as light as we can, set it down in the water. So give it a go. And if you make a big splash, it's okay, because it's practice. All right, so shoulders are down and back. I'm gonna go left leg. You can go whatever leg works for you. So slide one foot forward a little bit and lightly either touch the toe or lift a little. All right, feel as centered as you can in this stance. And then pick up the leg a little more and think about it that you wanna step it into the water and barely ruffle that water. And then settle your back heel. Excellent. All right, and if it didn't work out, it's okay. You get to try again later. So now we want this warrior one to be really happy. So maybe you need to widen the width of your mat or the length of your pose. Whatever it is for you, take a moment and find that. Bring your hands to your hips again, shoulders down and back, and let's straighten and bend the front knee. So we're gonna do a little bit of play here in the warrior one, and then we'll come out carefully and we'll switch sides. All right, so you might stay with hands on your hips or you might, when the knee is bent, let the arms hang down. On the inhale, bring the energy all the way from the earth up to the sky and let that repeat. So nice and easy, it's just, just a different fun way to play. So one way to work on balance in our yoga practice is just to do it differently. Because we all build habits of how we do our things and it's nice to change it up sometimes. All right, so the next time the knee is bent, stay. Add the arms up, good. You might stay right here. We have one more fun um, play with the arms and the work of this warrior one. All right, bring the arms forward. Take the backs of the hand towards each other. And as if your arms were giant wings, press it away so your heart lifts and your hands squeeze. If it would feel interesting for you to bring your hands together, bring them together. If that doesn't work, leave the hands apart. And at any time, bring those hands to the hips. All right, last part. We're gonna sink deeper into the warrior one. My heart is lifted, my back leg is super strong, and we're gonna let our heart lead us towards our front thigh. Lead gently, gently, gently. You could always release the hands to the hips or the thigh, or you could stay here. And if it feels interesting, maybe the arms go high. Good, breathing here. Okay, so we're gonna try to get out the same way. Let's see what happens. Let your hands reach back, the heart lifts. Good, and gently, softly release the arms. Last part, we've gotta step that front foot way back to the back foot. So I'm gonna shorten my stance a little, give me a little more room. And then I'm gonna bend my front knee, and when I'm ready, I'm gonna push off and come on back. And there we go. So let's go the other side. I'm gonna switch sides just so that you can see the step. All right, so I'll try to talk a little bit less, but we'll stay just as long. So feet hip distance apart. Shoulders are down and back. The heart is lifted. Hands on the hips or hands beside us. Bring your weight into your opposite foot. Lighten the foot that's going to step. You can do toe down or toe up. So working on balance right here. And then just like that water bird, think of the water. It's smooth in front of you. Carefully lift up the leg. Reach your forward and Step it lightly in. Beautiful job. So, and if it wasn't beautiful, it's okay. Let your heels stay last, your toes angle in. I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit. Bend and straighten a little bit. Make sure you're feeling pretty happy. Hips are facing forward. Shoulders are down and back and we're gonna move this. So on your exhale, bend. And on your inhale, straighten. Good, and we repeat. We repeat. So we just make sure that we have just the right place that we can play and practice in our warrior one. All right, if you'd like, add the hands. When the knee is bent, the arms are down. And when you lift it up, lift the arms. Good, so energy from the earth to the sky. Okay, the next time the knee is bent, keep the knee bent. Good, make sure it's happy and lift the arms high. Beautiful, all right, bring the arms forward, backs of the hands towards each other. These are your wings now, and I shouldn't have been quite so close to my fireplace, so make sure you have room if you don't. 
Swing it around. Heart lifts. Your wings are behind you, so you're, you're flying fast here. All right. If it would feel interesting, bring those hands together. Maybe do your alternate lace of the hands. If that is not good, leave the hands apart. Totally fine. Heart is lifted. Front knee. Bend it deeper. And here we go. Carefully hinging forward. You can stop anywhere that feels like the right amount of challenge for you. You can let the hands go at any time. Or maybe we lift those arms up high. Breathing. Okay, let's see if we can come out. Imagine gently someone helping you pull gently on those hands, gently lifting the body off of the leg. Okay, release the hands. Bring the hands to the hips. All right, I'm gonna shorten my stance a little. Yep, I'm gonna shorten a little. Give a bend in the string, and when you're ready, push off, and back we go to mountain pose. All right, so find both feet nice and steady. Let's take an inhale, arms out and around, look up if you like, and an exhale, hands to the heart. And one more, inhale, and hands to the heart. So you can go find another video if you need a longer practice. Uh, if you're done, totally fine. Walk gently into your day. Thank you so very much for joining me for this short practice today. Um, questions, comments, requests, please contact us. Uh, look at our website, mountspirityoga.com. Give us a like or a love. Let us know that you're watching, and we so appreciate you. Thank you, and namaste.